Hi, I'm Elijah, and welcome back to another Kenko webcast, your number one source for information on labeling and pricing products. Today, I'll be showing you how to properly load and maintain your Toa APF 60 series handheld label applicator. If you find this video to be helpful, please click the like button below. Unlike the APN series applicators, the APF series applicator features an adjustable mech sensor making it possible to apply labels with odd shapes, such as circles, ovals, and starbursts, as well as custom shapes with ease and precision. Before we begin, let's familiarize ourselves with several key components of the applicator. Let's pick up the applicator with our right hand. Right away, you will notice the label housing assembly. On the left, you will see the roll guard. The roll guard will help secure your labels when the applicator is in use. As the arrows indicate, turning the roll guard counterclockwise will unlock it, while turning it clockwise will lock it. On the label shaft, you will see a plastic core. I'll be talking more about this plastic core later on. Rotate the applicator and take a look at the bottom. Here, you will see the feed mechanism door and the hinged latch at the bottom. This latch has a set of teeth to help tear the liner and a lip that helps bend the liner away from the trigger. Let's open up the bottom by pulling the latch towards the trigger so we can take a peek inside. When you open the door, you will notice the advancing mechanism. The advancing mechanism will grip the label liner pulling it along with every squeeze of the trigger. Close that door back up and secure it by closing the bottom latch. Towards the top of the applicator, you will see the bending bars. These rollers separate the labels from the liner. Above the bending bars, you will see the nip rollers. The nip rollers will help apply the label to your product. Between the nip rollers and the label housing is a clear plastic piece called the path guide, and above it is the mech sensor. The mech sensor will slide along the surface of the labels and catch the beginning of each label, stopping the trigger. Notice the mech sensor moves slightly each time the trigger is squeezed. Unlike the APN series, the APF series applicator features an adjustable mech sensor enabling it to apply labels of various shapes. Notice the mech sensor adjustment knob and ruler. I'll be talking more about the mech sensor later on. Now that we are more familiar with the various components, Let's talk about choosing the labels you'll use with the Toei APF60 series label applicator. The Toei APF60 series uses labels with a 1 inch core. If your labels are not on a 1 inch core or did not ship on a core, a plastic 1 inch core is provided with every applicator for your use. You can learn how to wind your labels around the core at www.kenco.tv. Once your labels are ready, we'll learn how to quickly and properly load your Toei APF60 series label applicator. First, remove the roll guard by twisting it counterclockwise and lifting it up. I'm going to take off the plastic core, since the custom printed labels I'm using were made specifically for this applicator and are available through Kenko Label. For a quick quote on custom printed labels, call us at 1-800-86-KENKO. The APF60 is especially suited to dispense labels that measure between 1 and 2.33 inches wide with a maximum outer diameter of 4 inches. If your labels are wider, you may wish to use the APF100 applicator. Flip the applicator and open the bottom cover by pulling down on the bottom cover latch. Grab a roll of labels and place it on the shaft of the housing assembly in a counterclockwise direction. Next, run the edge of the labels under the clear plastic path guide and pull the labels around the bending bars and down towards the trigger. You'll want to line up the gap in the labels with the top of the door. Slide the labels through the latch between the teeth and lip, making sure the liner extends past the latch, then close and lock the bottom cover. Let's slip the roll guard onto the label shaft and secure it by twisting the guard clockwise until it locks into place. You'll want to be sure that there's at least an eighth of an inch between the roll guard and the roll of labels so that the guard is not applying any counter pressure to the advancing mechanism. It's important to note that every time you squeeze the trigger, the labels will only advance between 20 and 60 millimeters, or between approximately one and two and a half inches. So some of the labels will require more than one, even up to three or four strokes per label. When applying a longer label, make sure to stop squeezing the trigger when you meet resistance from the applicator, as this indicates that the mech sensor has stopped the trigger. Forcing the trigger past the resistance point may jam or even damage the applicator's internal mechanism. Once your applicator is properly loaded, we will learn how to adjust the mech sensor. Loosen the mech sensor adjustment knob by turning it counterclockwise. Using the ruler on your applicator, find the distance between the highest point of your label and the right edge of the label liner. In this example, the distance is 2.5 centimeters. 
Slide the adjustment knob to this location. Then tighten the adjustment knob by turning it clockwise and we're ready to begin labeling. To label an item, simply pick up the applicator and squeeze the trigger until you meet resistance. This indicates that you have reached the end of a label. Hold the applicator directly over the product, then just apply the label to your product. Release the trigger, and you're all done. This has been another Kenco webcast. For more information and outstanding prices on these products, visit us on the web today at www.kencostore.com or call us toll free at 1-800-86-KENCO. For more product videos and tutorials like this, go to www.kenco.tv.